still have these cornrows in, but I'm about to take them off. But I wanted to go ahead and put some beads on the bottom. And I'm not going to secure them. It just seems like my hair just holds it right here. So I'll probably just put a little bit of gel on the ends. And I really like the Kinky Tresses Defining Gel. So if you've ever seen this, I feel like this is a good gel if you're... Y'all know I'm not really a wash and go girly, but if you just want to have the bottom of your twist like twirl, because we all have seen indigenous strand put flaxseed gel on the bottom of her twist. But I was like, y'all, I'm not really that committed to making flaxseed gel. So how can I try to hack it in the most natural way? You get a lot and since I'm only using it on my ends, I was like, let me just, you know, go ahead and use what I have. We're trying to reduce consumerism around here. Y'all, I heard something. I was like, what? Let's just go ahead and try to get this style together. Again, my friend did these. I do not know how to corn roll. I do not really know how to flat twist. So I'm a prime example that you don't have to know all of those things in order to care for natural hair. And I'm not in a state where I'm trying to learn. <laughs> so um, I also realized that when you're putting bees on the end of your hair, that that little beater that you see in the hair store, get that, definitely get that. I was like, mm, I don't need that. And I've bought some bees before in the past. And I was like, mm, let me just gift this away. But today, Today was the day where I was like, dag, I could have definitely used that. This spray is so nice, but I wanna go ahead and take these out. So I am going to just use a bobby clip, put it on the bottom. No, first of all, oil. You need some oil <laughs> when you're doing this. You do not wanna wreck your ends. So I am using the Camille Rose Amala and Coco Nibs. I don't know why I keep saying Amala. Maybe because that's the first ingredient. And I just don't even really look at the front anymore. I just go straight to the ingredients. So the first one is Amala. And then it's sesame seed oil. And then this is a really good oil. I really like this one. I was shocked because I used um, Camille Rose in the very beginning of my hair journey. And to be honest, I used it because it was pink. I was like, oh, this is cute. This marketing is cute. Maybe this is for me. And remember, this was me maybe like nine, 10 years ago where I had no insight to anything related to natural hair. Um, but all in all, I'm using a bobby pin because <laughs> that's what I have. And I bought these two beads from the beauty supply store. I thought these were like kind of the cutest. It's like a light skin and a brown skin. <laughs> so I'm gonna just like bead these first and have like a gradient effect kind of. Um, but yeah, if you're doing this for an actual look, I feel like that would definitely be a vibe. Let me go ahead and show y'all for real. I put some oil on my ends and I just clip the bobby pin on the bottom. And um, I am doing two of like the lighter ones. And then I am doing two of the dark ones. So I haven't tried to put them all on at the same time and see if they go through like that. I'm sure they will. Let's see. Okay, it worked. So there's a way to secure this with rubber bands, but like I said, I'm not doing all of that, y'all. But if you wanna do that, that would be super cute. It'll secure your beads so they don't fall out. I'm literally just putting these on enough so I can get like a little picture from this before I take these cornrows out. And y'all probably like, these cornrows are still fresh. And they are, but um, I, I want to take them out. <laughs> so again, putting a little bit of oil on. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to speed it up. Y'all know how we do. I have to make a reel or something. I'm trying to get back into 
doing content and I, if you're a creator, you understand this, but we film, 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 and then sometimes we just don't post it. <laughs> like, so I had this whole vlog that I was doing where I was like explaining why I've been away and all this stuff. And I was like, first of all, let's talk about internet safety. Okay. <laughs> That's the first thing and you know people watch these videos for entertainment and I'm not going to be the sad girl. I'm I'm just not. So um, the synopsis of the whole thing that I was going to mention was just that my dad is sick and as you can imagine anything surrounding that can be very stressful um, and I will end this off by saying, just make sure your paperwork is in order. Just ignorance is not bliss, okay? Ignorance is definitely not bliss. And this was, I mean, I've always felt like, ooh, I was an adult, but this was the first, I don't wanna say this was the first year, but this was the year where a lot of adult stuff has been popping off for me. And I was like, ooh, yeah, all right, girl. God has been good, okay? God has been good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this, ah! See, y'all, I don't even think I'm gonna do my whole head. Cause this little strategy was working until I got to a twist that was a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it thinner by twisting it up like that and now I guess I have to go one by one but yes so these videos um if you're new here I am Kia hey and if you are returning hey boo but uh, my platform is all about natural hair we are low effort I get on here and I just share whatever I'm doing you know, I used to do all the like cute aesthetic stuff. I still do that here and there, but now it's just like, all right, we're living in real life. We're living in the age of TikTok. Like these kids don't care. They just want to know the information. If they like, if they're cool with you, they want to see an update, you know, um, and you have to be consistent. I'm not the consistent type. I'm just not. So don't look to me for that. <laughs> but look for me for authentic content because i'm not gonna lie to y'all and that's it well here we go we got a little little something 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 on the end on the end on the end we got a little something on the end on the end on the end <laughs> you know you black when you make a song out of everything <laughs> But no, all right, I think I might do like one more because I have other things to do today. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And another thing, I don't know if y'all do this because I do know a lot of people who watch me are also creators too, but you'll have a style and you're like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. And then you know, oh dang, I need to create some content or something. And then, by the time you finally get around to creating your content, your hair is like starting to get frizzy or it doesn't look as good as it did on the first day. Y'all, that is the story of my life. I literally <laughs> film stuff right when I'm about to take it out. <laughs> and I need to do better, but you know, life, I'm not going to sit here and be like, life be life it, because I feel like, when are we going to retire that? But, um, you know, life. So, here we go. And I am pretty sure that these wooden bees are, like, wrecking my ends. Like, they are taking my ends and just, like, pip slapping them. <laughs> just pip slapping the ends. So, I'm going to try to let's do a little little something try to twirl it a little bit i don't know if that quite worked too well but i do know that i am getting a trim very soon 
very, very soon. I think like whenever I go home because I get my hair done in Baltimore. I live in North Carolina. So, you know, we have to go back home to the home court to get our hair done, okay? And plus, I haven't really found anyone out in Raleigh and I was looking a little bit, but I just started getting a little nervous from some of the information that I gathered online. <laughs> Let's just, just say that. All right, so y'all, <laughs> yeah, that's what we got. Now I am gonna do the other side for Instagram, so make sure you follow me on there. Curls with Kia, but um, I don't know if y'all saw my reel where I was literally making homemade rosemary water. I can't keep that up. I, I just can't. So I was like, mm, what's the closest to that? That is like more natural, even though that word natural is not regulated, but it seems like the least amount of toxins because I'm all about cleaner beauty. And I've never been an as I am girly. However, I think I just like that rosemary line. <laughs> like, I, I just think like maybe that's the line that I like. But so I picked up these little travel size because never waste all your money when you're trying a new product unless you feel very, very, very confident. But um, when their book came out, because As I Am has like a curly hair book. So I was like, mm, you know, I'm reading this stuff now, right? So <laughs> I was like, let me get this book. And then I got this, I mean, excuse me. And then I bought this and then I also bought the oil, which is really good, but it's a very strong scent. And then I also bought, oh goodness, I also bought the conditioner from this line and I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I was doing like some scalp serum, the scalp serum from RX, definitely check them out. Shout out to RX. But um, as far as my actual hair, just a little, little spray, little spray, spray, spray on this, keep things hydrated. So, and then there we go. I also um, am going to do my edges for my little bit of edge that is out. And I am going to use the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado because, again, I read ingredients. I don't want to come on here and say that I'm the most knowledgeable about all ingredients, but I do know how to research ingredients, right? And I encourage you to do that as well. Typically, the traditional edge controls just have some toxic things in it. And from looking at all the rest of them, I decided on Design Essentials. And this is actually the only product that I have from Design Essentials. And I think this is a really good um, edge control. Y'all know what it's giving almost, but not quite. I'm Rick James, B.I. <laughs> like, it's giving Rick James. <laughs> but no, really, this was a nice little switch up from my twist and my twist out kind of thing. I still have twists in the back because I didn't know if my friend was gonna come through for me. So I started from the back. I mean, I typically start from the back up, but she was able to do this. And let me tell you, I'm thankful thankful so i'm gonna go ahead and maybe um do the other ones over here show y'all the final look and then uh, we're gonna be done but he's pink me when i get back i'm in l.a rodeo drive i'm in new york medicine app i'm a barbie girl Pink Barbie dream house. The way can be killing sh Got me yelling out like the scream house. Ye yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't belling out. And that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out. I told Tay, bring the Bob Dylan out. That so cold, we just chillin' out. Baby, yelling, yelling, yeah, yelling out. It is Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. Ooh. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a Ken. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn. All of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Bobby ain't nothing to play about. He wanna play in the playhouse. Playhouse, playhouse, playhouse. They gon' say now. I'm watching these boots, I'm rubbing a scene out. Like I'm ready to bend. All the fake Bobbies just wanna pretend. 